getting his hands up there really probably should have picked that one. But their, their awareness. I mean, big defensive ends understanding that the tackles come to cut block them to avoid that cut and get their arms up. Here's, here's a problem when the tackle's lying flat on the ground and the defensive end is standing up after you attempt a cut block. That's a low end fill, and I've been there as an offensive lineman tight end. They just get his hands down, go cut it real quick. Then you're sitting there with your helmet right in the turf. Third and 13. Anderson, what can he come up with? That's going to be short of the line to make. You're only getting seven on that as he goes to Charles Clay. You know, I understand the Patriots, excuse me, the Bills came out, and they're doing some different things out of the Wildcat. But if they're going to win this game tonight, Derek Anderson's going to have to drop back and throw the football down the field. The Wildcat will give you some surprise plays, but in order to beat the Patriots, your quarterback is going to have to complete the football down the field. I don't think they can bank on that, though. I mean, they got to run the football, get them. What hurt them there was they had negative runs with Shady. Yeah, getting to those second and 13s and having to get out of it. So the Hork has back out to punt again. And Edelman will go for the scatter, and will just stay there diving for it, but unable to come up with it. Was Andre Holmes. Tom Brady, 90 career road wins, an NFL record back out there when we come back. Switch to the Sprint Network and we'll give you the iPhone XR to use for zero dollars per month with eligible trade. Mutual, this is what our version of financial planning looks like. Tomorrow's important, but so is making the most of the house before they're out of the house. Spend your life living. Find an advisor at NorthwesternMutual.com. We will be adding a soy option to the cafeteria menu starting in the new year. The east parking lot will be repaved next week, so plan on using the south parking lot instead. You could also use the sir. Sir. Escape the football at Buffalo Wildlands and try our new game day menu featuring $5 brats, cheeseburger and fries, cocktails, and pitchers. Make your ways a up. Up and down, never side to side. Can you got it? Come on, stay focused. All through, baby. Stay on. There's that guy that's part of the 500 touchdown pass ball. Tom Brady. And his wife goes ahead for about two and a half. Well, 41 years old, but we'll take you back in time with Tom Brady. How about these high school photos with Book? <laughs> Classic. There's the sophomore, junior, and senior photos with the senior quote. If you want to play with the big boys, you got to learn how to play in the tall grass. I think he learned. He really did learn. I love that sophomore photo. <laughs> came a long way, man. Tom Brady's came a long way. Second and seven. Threw it behind James White. It'll be third down. You know, the thing I admire about Tom Brady the most, he wasn't the guy that was drafted in the first round. He's a self-made superstar. Understood, he, he knew who he was. He worked on his throwing motion. He worked on his body, and now he's playing at over 40 years old with this TV playoff method. That's the thing I admire about him the most. And here he's got a third and long situation. They're going to go empty to spread it out. 
it's interesting because Gronkowski's not on the field. They got these receivers and they're trying to use their speed on these linebackers underneath. Third and seven. Brady able to escape and run ahead for the first <laughs> stats of Tom Brady we may have a unique one tonight as he goes ahead and runs for eight yards which means he's three rushing yards away from being a 1,000 yard rusher pause in his career <laughs> in his career 19 seasons in he's three rushing yards away from having 1,000 career rushing yards yeah look when you list the strengths for Tom Brady you know the athleticism to be able to be a straight line runner that's not at the top of the list, but, you know, and I know the pliability and all that's played a big role into it. But when I say he's done it often, what I'm meaning is he just has an awareness for where the first down is. And whether that's three yards, seven yards, what he did in Kansas City last a couple weeks ago, where he dives in for the touchdown, he just has good awareness to keep drives going using his leg. Now, Tom's had a lot of fun with that 1,000 yard mark. He's been counting it down on his Instagram page. So have some fun with that. As Edmonds makes the tackle, and we come to the end of this first quarter. Great atmosphere here in Buffalo. Just the field goal on the board as it stands now. The end of one on Monday Night Football. Sometimes you need a second sample to confirm that the first sample is, you know, accurate. Of course. It's accurate. <laughs> After the 1906 earthquake, people needed access to their money. So even though bank records were buried, Wells Fargo let customers withdraw based on their word. We had your back then, and we've got your back today. Now customers with direct deposit can benefit from Overdraft Rewind, an overdraft forgiveness feature only from Wells Fargo. It's a new day at Wells Fargo, but it's a lot like our first day. Chorizo from Chipotle is back for a limited time. It's grilled right in front of you with nothing artificial. It has nothing to hide. But you can wrap it in a tortilla anyway. Hurry in. Chorizo is almost gone. Chipotle for real. It's time. Time for a new kind of cloud. The IBM cloud. The cloud that proactively protects your business from threats instead of just reacting to them. That lets you modernize and move more of your apps without rewriting. That unlocks insights from all your data and puts it to work with AI. Get a faster, more secure journey to the cloud. The IBM Cloud. The cloud for smarter business. sport there's a lot of things i do to try to protect myself when i block i try to keep my head out of it i try to use more hands you definitely have to have confidence in your equipment the league and the nflpa they're testing new helmets and they show us the data and research for how different helmets have scored As a matter of fact this season i got fitted specifically for a custom helmet it's important to have that data just because you feel like you've made the best decision when it comes to your equipment football in Buffalo, New York. Joe Tessitore, Jason Witten, Booter McFarland, Lisa Salters with you. Patriots start the second quarter with a field goal lead. Brady aims stride and there's Hogan. 
good call by Josh McDaniel, bringing Edelman back in there for like a quick motion. It's the play fake, though. We're actually going to see him. Watch, watch Tom Brady in this situation. Quick play fake, pull the guard. There it is. It's called trap pass, because their number one run is the one-back power where they pull the backside guard. And Rob Gronkowski is the guy that's featured on that play a lot. They're changing it up. Putting Rob Gronkowski on the single receiver side. And Hogan with the big catch. Brady. As he burned that back to the left side. Tom thought he had his running back right there. Well, I don't he, think he did. McDermott and the Bills in the war of these fans looking for the flag as they're going to discuss it here. So they say he got out of that tackle box and it went beyond the line of scrimmage. Patriots riding that four-game win streak. Of course, dealing with some injuries. Sonny Michelle and Marcus Cannon and Dante Hightower out with a knee tonight. Another play action. Trying to get outside there, but Tom knows exactly where the line of scrimmage was there, getting it across. And flags rain in. And so we should open now we just mentioned that Marcus Cannon, the right tackle who missed last week's game as well with a concussion out tonight. The Adrian Waddle, two straight starts now. That is number 68. Penalty was on him. First penalty of the game. And you got to give Buffalo defense a lot of credit. They forced this New England offense in some negative down and distance. Holding the three points on that previous drive. Now here. Doing the same thing. Don't let him get these big chunks if you're Buffalo's defense. There is Zimmerman. Easy pitch and catch from Brady for 18 yards. And the Patriots are just attacking the middle of the field. The play action. We mentioned a young middle linebacker, Tremaine Edmonds, for the Buffalo Bills. Understand this. When you're a young middle linebacker, you want to be aggressive. You want to come up and play the run. Right now, the New England Patriots and Tom Brady are taking advantage of Edmonds coming up for the play action, and they're getting the ball across the middle of the field. But they had him in second and long, and they played man-to-man -man coverage. With that play action, the linebacker's going to suck up, and it's hard for Phil Gaines to cover it that long. As Barner is chopped down, he's 20 years old, is Edmonds. Yeah, you were 20 years old. Yeah, when I got drafted, when I got drafted. Yeah. yeah. I mean, how challenging is that to be the youngest player in the NFL being tasked with this? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, there's a lot of responsibilities, and certainly if you're the middle linebacker, it's, there's a lot of pressure on you because you're you have to communicate. All that's on you. It's your defense. You're the quarterback on the defense side of the ball. Sean McDermott said he can handle it. He embraces it. He's got high standards. He's got to learn on the fly a little bit and just read and react. He puts a lot of pressure on himself. But I was the same way when I was drafted to the Cowboys. Ninth play of the drive. Another long drive by the pass. And taken down right away by Edmonds was James White. But you that's see what, the burst of explosion. But that's what he can do well. When he sees it, he can go get it. In the open field, the ability to see the running back flare out. He sees it. And now once it, the ball is in the air, he just takes off using speed, athleticism, and this is when he's at his best in the open field. Yeah, it, it, read and react. Edmonds' ability, he sees it. He knows, and what he saw was a left tackle ground going for a cut box, so he knew the ball was coming out. They're still going to look at Edelman as he is taken down from behind by Jordan Phillips. That's twice now for Buffalo's defense. They've been able to give up some big plays here and there, but when they've gotten close to the red zone, they've gotten stops. And so you get in here and it's 6-0 potentially. This defense is holding their own. I look for this offense. they got to make some plays. In attack, but I mean the, the defense for the Bills, they're doing their part stopping this prolific offense for the Patriots. So Gaskowski comes back out. This from 40. Another long drive and another settle for three for New England. Six to six. She's the one. The one for you. When you know, you just know. 
She isn't perfect, but she's perfect for you. Love is rare. Love's unique. Love is her. Love is him. Love is us. The Vera Wang Love Collection, designed for sales, the Diamond Store. The king has gone crazy, making 10 nuggets just a dollar crazy. Right? Crazy crispy, crazy juicy. Ten nuggets made of crazy delicious white meat for just a dollar. Now that's a crazy deal. Enjoy ten golden nuggets for just a dollar. Only at Burger King. Better your selfie even after you take a shot. New LG V40, thank you. Thursday night, Raiders, Niners, when it's on, it's on, Thursday night football on NFL Network, Fox, and streaming on Prime Video. Well, the news of the day in the NFL came by way of Cleveland. Hugh Jackson and the offensive coordinator, Todd Haley, head coach and OC, fired by the Browns. Yeah, I mean, look, we saw it on Hard Knocks this all, you know, in the training camp. Todd Haley and Hugh have been going back and forth for quite some time. And I think Jimmy Haslam said certainly he gave Hugh plenty enough time to get that program right. I think all of us were wondering it was just a matter of time that he was going to lose that opportunity. And, and for Todd, the same thing. I think he just said enough of it. I'm going to give it to Greg Williams, who's a fiery guy. He's a competitor. Sure We've seen his body of work. And see what we got. So I commend Jimmy Haslam for making that decision. You know, that, hey, look, I'm not going to wait till the end of the year anymore. I've seen enough. i got a young team. I want to see what they're about, and maybe Greg Williams can light a fire under these guys. But what was your take? Well, I, I think when you look at it, Tess, you have to wonder what's going to happen with Baker Mayfield. He's a young quarterback. Everything in that organization should be about how can we make Baker Mayfield better? How can we bring his progress along? And right now you have to wonder, who's going to call plays? Hugh Jackson is offensive head coach. He's gone. Todd Haley's the OC. He's gone. And if you're Baker Mayfield, you're probably sitting there right now wondering, where am I going to get my guidance, my tutelage from? And I think that is a bad place for this Cleveland Browns organization to be in. When your number one pick doesn't know where he's going to get his tutelage. You see with the windy night, they're actually holding for the kickoff there as there is a flag down. As Guskowski asked for a teammate to hold the ball. We've had Gus at about 16 miles an hour just before our opening kickoff tonight. I know you guys aren't feeling much wind upstairs. It's, it's a nice little brisk breeze no. down here, Tess. No, hold on a second, man. I just saw interlocking LV on that scarf. I saw Gucci about three weeks ago up in Green <laughs> Bay. And now you're rocking Louie here in Buffalo. Don't complain too much, folks. Fashion statement made. That's a, they're one yard from the line of scrimmage. I don't know how it's a false start. <laughs> Just wait. Illegal formation. Kicking team. There was not two men outside the numbers in the formation. Five yard penalty. Three kicks. Remember, we have new kickoff rules this year. And that's a formation rule. Well, I mean, it, it, you see it in there because he's holding that kick there, to being able to do that. Let's bring our rules expert, Jeff Triplett. Yeah, they have to have, have you can see right there, they have two res That's exactly correct. Two players were outside the numbers, and there have to be two players between the numbers and the hash mark. They, have, they did not have... The, the two players between the, the numbers and the hash. So they will re-kick here. It's 
Kostkowski, the 40-yard field goal. At the end of that last drive for the Patriots. And here's Murphy from about the three. After the penalty, a 28-yard return. We just mentioned the situation going on in Cleveland, of course, the much talked about rookie quarterbacks Josh Allen out injured here with Buffalo. You see the records, by the way, the completion percentages all under 60%. But where does this leave Baker Mayfield now with the change and coach gone, offensive coordinator gone? Completely? Yeah, and Book said it. Look, I mean, you know, you never want to see the coordinator and the head coach who's an offensive coach. But look, I think it was so dysfunctional that it was affecting Baker anyway. So you'd rather it happen then, regroup. He's going to learn a lot over these next 10 weeks about himself, about his football team, and uh, trust the organization and management that can go out and make the right hire. Here's Anderson on first down. And batted away at the last moment was Gilmore coming up defensively against Kelvin Benjamin. You know, that was good coverage by Gilmore, but I want to focus on Benjamin the top of the route. Use your size. He's so big. He's waiting on that football. You see how he's going to cradle it with his hands right there at the top of the screen? I want him to extend his hands. Gilmore's back's turned to the ball, so he can't see. He's a good player. He has awareness to get his hand in there, but Benjamin, he's got to play to his strengths on those 50-50 balls, and don't wait on it. He is four inches and 40 pounds on Gilmore. McCoy, stop and stop. And ahead for a yard that time. You know, with Joe their, McCoy, the two time first team all pro, six time pro bowler. Yeah, and the, you know, I, I'm with you on the Wildcat. It was a nice little wrinkle, but don't try to get too cute. Most first and second downs, they want to run the football. I like to the throw there by Anderson to try to get it to Benjamin, but when you're running it, get it between the tackles. Be physical, be physical. That's where they have to play. Well, I think it's the best thing that they do, run the football. They don't have a true number one wide receiver or tight end. Be who you are, run the football with this big offensive line. 35-year-old Derek Anderson, signed three weeks ago, goes underneath the Jones, who's immediately taken down by McCourty. Man-to-man -man coverage, and they just do such a good job, Patriots defense, with their awareness, understanding the pick routes, getting through on the releases there, forcing it underneath, and they rally up to it and make plays. And they play man-to-man -man on those pick routes and crossers. They drive on the football, play as good as anybody in the league. So Edelman back to return the punt of Corey Bohorquez, his third punt of the night. First two punts, touchbacks. Had struggle there in fielding that snap. And with that, a poor effort with that punt. Just a 26-yard punt from Bohorquez.
statement Saturday coming up in college football. We're going to start with Big Ten. We've got number 14, Penn State, against number 5, Michigan. That's at 345. And then undefeated in third-ranked Notre Dame against Northwestern at 715. And, of course, tomorrow at 7 Eastern on ESPN is the college football playoff top 25 reveal. It is that time of the year. Let the great debates begin. Brady going to check down underneath the Devlin. Just pile driving ahead for seven yards. Big fullback, James Devlin. Yeah, in the ACC there, they didn't have those fullbacks. They're not <laughs> spread off there. It's Edmonds. He's not used to dealing with those boys. College football. It's a fullback position. It's a lost art. Well, apparently they have in the Ivy League because he went to Brown. Second and three. And as he was looking for Edelman. And a flag reigns in all the way back at the 35. Coverage came from Edmonds there. Yeah, and, and the Bills are just playing soft coverage. Defense number 49. Five yard penalty automatic first down. And what they're doing is they're, they're dropping seven guys. So they're forcing the ball to go underneath because basically the two safeties are helping on the outside. And the linebackers are being physical at four or five yards on Gronkowski and Edelman because they know they have help over, over in behind. So Tom's got to be patient. And then, of course, when they get out of that coverage or they find him there because he's so good at the line of scrimmage, look for him to take a shot. There's Garner. As Brock tried to pave the way. Only able to get a couple there. Kenyon Barner, his fifth season from Oregon. We got him after Jeremy Hill tore his ACL in week one. He's been one of those yo-yo sign and release guys. They've been doing the roster shuffle with Barner. Sometimes we practice during the week. They release him, they resign him. And now he told you about being thinned out at running back. We've had the injuries this year to Rex Burkett, Jeremy Hill, last week Sony Michelle. Second down, this is when you see a lot of their play action games and the fly sweeps. Here's the screen. White gets free and just tripped up. That'll move the chains. That was Tredavious White with the tackle, but 15 yards. And a good block from Shaq Mason, the right guard there. Yeah, what they're going to do here is they're going to fake this fly sweep and then come off of it and then run the screen. And when that happens, everybody thinks it's going to be a shot down the field. Two play fakes and then come back and they've got a big area. There's only, they're getting three of their linemen out in space. They know exactly where they're going. You see them cut blocking, throwing their bodies out in space. Edelman on the edge blocking and they get first downs. Two play fakes and then come back with a screen. Tom's just so good at throwing the play fakes. And you said this to Boog and me the other day. They don't overcomplicate things when it comes to those screen games. And then there's this guy, Ron, who grew up just 15 miles away this last week's game with the bat back. And that's just a one back pull guard on the power pass. And now Gronkowski. We saw it earlier with Hogan. And now they come back with Gronkowski. And it's all off the play action. When those linebackers see a guard pulling, they, their intent is going to say, run, run, run. Now with the Patriots, they marry the run in the pass as good as anybody in the National Football League. Shift to the shotgun. Play action off a bit. A little bit of pressure in the pocket, and Brady goes down. Lorenzo Alexander took a swipe at the ball and then came down for the second sack of the night for the Bills defense. They've been getting pressure all night, and you see Alexander, his ability to just keep working. Tom Brady tries to step up, which is what all the great ones do, but Alexander continues to work, coming off the edge, physical, and just getting the time to strike the ball from Tom Brady. May not get there initially, but just keep working. And the quarterback may hold the ball, and you can get a stop. You know, Boog, I mean, he plays outside linebacker in a 4-3 scheme, and then goes plays defensive end in nickel. Second and 16. That was incomplete as he was just looking for Devlin there. You know, they were trying to get that to Josh Gordon, but, you know, give White, Trevavious White at the corner, 
a lot of credit. They're being physical. They're keeping their hands in tight. They're pressing them at the line of scrimmage. They're kind of getting right inside of them. So you get a little bit of tug, and it, they're not allowing them to get separation because they know on that play action, when they're playing man-to-man, -man, there's big holes in there. They don't want to get that separation. Good job being physical and just mirroring the receiver. It is so loud here at New Era Field. Bills Mafia, as they are done, Warren. Third and 16, Edelman trying to turn the corner and taken down at the 20, well short of the line to make, just getting eight there. Good adjustment. Oh, it's getting rough. Whistle's blown as the Pats and the Bills are still tied up, tangled up at the end of that. And in the middle of it was high. And David Andrews, I tell you, the center for the Patriots, he's a nasty guy. I love watching him on tape. He's cut blocking. He's down the field on the screens. I think the safeties didn't like that. You see him, Andrews. He's going to help this guy up. He kind of pushes high over. Get out of the way. I got to pick my man up. But this Buffalo Bills defense is playing with a chip on their shoulders tonight, guys. They're feeding off the energy of the crowd, and they're 